Hi everyone, my name is Sarah, I'm a hospital pharmacist and today's video will be about pharmacy residency. Essentially, what is it? Do I recommend it? And is it even worth it? I would recommend pharmacy residency for those who want to become a clinical pharmacist working in the hospital or a clinic setting. Most often, people don't want to do residency because of the pay cut. Now, if you were to do a pharmacy residency, your pay for that year will be, I think average it's around 50k salary a year, but it's just one year. For some people, that one year is a big deal, but I'm going to say why I think it's not and it's a big investment. Pharmacy is very, very oversaturated right now and it's really competitive and difficult to secure a good job. So with competition, you gotta stand out somehow. And one way to really stand out and have an advantage is to have a residency. Another reason why you should do residency is oftentimes a lot of pharmacy students, they're still unsure about what they wanna do. Appy rotations, sure you get some experiences here and there, but it's just six weeks at a time in each different setting. Is it really enough to really know what you wanna do for the rest of your life. Like me, when I graduated from pharmacy school, I was kind of teetering and tottering between do I want to do hospital acute care or do I want to do AM care? I had a lot of experience as an intern in the hospital setting. I knew I enjoyed working in the hospital and I wanted to pursue inpatient pharmacy, but I didn't really get much of an AM care experience. All I had was just my AM care rotation and that was just only six weeks. So was it a fair comparison? So that's essentially why, one of the reasons why I wanted to do a residency. And the residency that I did was half and half, half inpatient, half am care. And it gave me the best of both worlds, an extra year of experience while licensed. So let's say you based off your decision on your appy rotations, but you have to think about it. When you were an appy student, Keyword, you were a student. So during that time frame, you weren't licensed yet. So you weren't fully doing all the tasks and things that a normal pharmacist would have been doing. As opposed to residency, you're being trained, but you are already a licensed pharmacist. So during that whole year of training, you have someone overlooking you and teaching you and giving you the knowledge and tips about you know, how to verify orders, um, how to order labs and what to think about, what to consider, all the nuances of a hospital and clinic. So you don't really learn those nuances of a pharmacist while you're an appy student. So uh, it can be very difficult going straight into the workforce without that extra year of training. So for me, having the extra year of residency made me a lot more confident, a lot more comfortable as a pharmacist. An extra year of clinical knowledge and training really goes a long way. And like I mentioned earlier, pharmacy is very oversaturated and getting a job could be really competitive. So another pro of doing residency is that you get to network. If you think about it, uh, the residency director, they have an incentive for you to be successful, for you to find a secure job right away because, you know, it makes them look good. It benefits their stats to their residency program. Oh, look, uh, our candidates, our residency class of 2020 all got hired um, within graduation. They are working here, here, and here, etc. So they're trying to help you as well. Oftentimes, residency programs, they want to retain the residents and hire them on because you know, after all, they're training you for a whole year. Who else would better know their processes, uh, their formularies better? So they would more likely hire you than a random stranger, right? But let's say they have a hiring freeze or there's no open positions. They're going to try to help you secure a job. They know other pharmacists in other hospitals, right? They can definitely network and help open doors for you. And just overall, residency is a really good time for you to really explore all different sectors of pharmacy. And who knows, you might find out your new passion. Oftentimes, a lot of micro residents or people who went through residency and cycled through all these different rotations, they discovered, oh, hey, I actually love hemoc. I might want to become an oncology pharmacist. Maybe I'll pursue PGY too. You know, you learn a lot about yourself going through residency. 
So I know a lot of people, the pay cut is very stressful. I know your student loan payments are trying to kick in. But honestly, that one year could really help secure you a job that it's a higher paying role than versus a potential job you might have gotten uh, straight out of school. Let's say if you're not interested in you know, becoming a clinical pharmacist or you don't want to work in the hospital or clinic setting and you'd rather do like community pharmacy, then that's totally okay. Um, if you want to do community pharmacy, I'd say you don't have to do residency. You know, it's not necessary. I would say in that instance, I would just go straight into the workforce. But there are um, some rare residency programs that are community pharmacy focused. I think that's up and coming. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments down below or you have any suggestions on what type of videos you want to see. Um, honestly, I'm starting to run out of ideas, so um, I would love to hear some feedback.